Hello, this is Alan McNabb with Image Building Web Design. In this tutorial, we are uh, showing you the WordPress Adapt responsive uh, theme. I'll just show you their website here very quickly. WPExplorer.com. This is a free WordPress theme that's very good. Uh, they do have an up uh, um, a paid version for just a few dollars, uh, which we're not using for this project. In this tutorial, uh, we're showing you how to use um, the highlights, which uh, here are the four boxes beneath the slider on the front page. Uh, so we're showing you how to use these boxes. First of all, we're going to go to Appearances, then over to Theme Options, and we're going to make sure that on the home page we have the highlights enabled. Uh, that way we can use them. Uh, now we are going to um, uh, we're going to go over to um, uh, highlights up here, and uh, you see that we've got four here. And uh, let's uh, say for just a second, I'm going to show you how to change the text here under the first one. Uh, we simply uh, click on the home and property for this website. It takes just a moment because I'm recording a video and uh, you see the text here that's what will appear under the picture on the front page and you see here also the uh, uh, featured image which is the image that will appear there um, uh, let me show you how to uh, select this image let me just click remove for a second that'll get rid of it I'll show you how to select it and uh, we just come right over here and uh, house at twilight I uh, notice uh, the images uh, here are 230 by 153 pixels and uh, you, you can use very large images it'll automatically scale it down but of course that's going to take a lot of computing power and your web page will be rather slow so uh, try to use uh, the exact size that you're going to be using or at least close to it and uh, just say set featured image and you see the image is here um, we just say update right there and we're done with that. Let's look at one more and we just go down and uh, pick the second one. Again any text you want to change just change in this box here and if you were to change text just hit uh, click on update right there and uh, any of these uh, any of these would uh, change that uh, that you would made changes to. Alright All right, I was just checking to make sure I hadn't missed anything. I believe that does it uh, we have here then the four boxes and uh, they're clickable. Oh yeah, let me show you how to do that really quick here. Alright, so we're going to go to highlights. Click the first one right here. And we scroll down and highlight options URL. This is where you put the URL that when clicked on the picture or the title, uh, that's the page it's going to go to. So let me show you that really quick here on the website. So we've got a URL set here. Uh, so if you click the picture or the title, you see it changed color there, and it will take you to it'll take you to a different page. And again, I'm running slow because uh, we are also recording a video, and we just so happen to have a slider on this page. I'll show you that in another tutorial. But notice the URL here. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, 633 RidgeberryRoad.com/home-and-property. And uh, we'll go back here. You see that's the exact same URL I have here. So uh, put in your custom URL and it will take you to that page when clicking on it. Alright, I'm glad I remembered that. And um, that does it in showing you how to how to uh, get the boxes here below the, uh, below the slider, change the text, and to also uh, have custom URLs for that to go to. Uh, all right, well, that does it for this tutorial, and we're going to show you how to uh, make changes with pages with our next tutorial. So we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for being with us.